Kathy Bates, a name synonymous with powerful and compelling performances, was born on June 28, 1948, in Memphis, Tennessee. The actress got her start in theater before transitioning to film and television. Bates' breakthrough role came in 1990 when she starred in Misery, based on Stephen King's novel. Her chilling portrayal of Annie Wilkes earned her critical acclaim and a well-deserved Academy Award for Best Actress. Throughout her career, the actress has delivered memorable performances in various films, including Fried Green Tomatoes, Dolores Claiborne, and Titanic. She has also made her mark on television, earning praise for her work in shows like American Horror Story and Netflix's Disjointed. In addition to her acting accolades, Kathy Bates is a passionate advocate for various causes. She has been open about her battle with ovarian cancer and has used her platform to raise awareness for the disease. Bates' work has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry and her legacy continues to inspire aspiring actors and actresses today. Her ability to bring complex characters to life has solidified her place as a beloved figure in Hollywood. Kathy Bates is an accomplished actress, known for her impressive work in both film and television. You might recognize her from classics like Misery or Titanic, or from her memorable role in the show American Horror Story. Perhaps you first recognize the actress in Misery, where she played a deranged fan who holds a famous author captive. Or maybe it was in Titanic, where she portrayed the kind-hearted Molly Brown. Do you have a particular moment from one of the actress's works that has stayed with you? Maybe it's the chilling scene in Misery where she uses a sledgehammer to break the author's ankles. Or maybe it's the inspiring moment in Titanic where Molly Brown helps lead the lifeboat to safety. We'd love to hear your stories and memories related to this classic star. Do you have a cherished memory of watching one of the actress's films or shows? Or perhaps a personal experience that was impacted by her work? Share your stories in the comments below. There are many funny, shocking, and sad facts coming up about the actress, so be sure to keep watching this video. You won't want to miss it. Raised in a tight-knit family in Memphis, Tennessee, the actress was the youngest of three daughters. Her father, a mechanical engineer, and her mother, a homemaker, nurtured her interest in the arts from a young age. The actress's grandmother, a devout moviegoer, often took her to the cinema, sparking a lifelong love for films. During her high school years, she developed a passion for acting and participated in various school plays. After graduation, she pursued her craft at Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas, where she honed her skills under the guidance of influential theater professors. A significant turning point in her career came when she studied under renowned acting teacher Alice Spivak in New York City. Spivak's rigorous methods and emphasis on emotional truth helped shape the actress's approach to her work. Additionally, she cites her fellow actors and directors as key influences, learning from their experiences and drawing inspiration from their dedication to the craft. The actress's upbringing, education, and early mentors laid the groundwork for her successful career in film, television, and theater. Her ability to tap into the depths of human emotion and deliver captivating performances has made her a respected and cherished figure in the world of entertainment. Throughout her career, she has continued to learn and grow, constantly seeking new challenges and opportunities to push the boundaries of her craft. Her journey serves as a testament to the power of passion, dedication, and the transformative influence of influential mentors and role models. The actress was born in Memphis, Tennessee in 1948. She was the youngest of three girls in her family. Her father was a mechanical engineer and her mother was a homemaker. The actress's childhood was marked by a love for reading and a desire to perform. She would often put on shows for her family and neighbors. The actress attended Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas, where she studied theater. After graduation, she moved to New York City to pursue a career in acting. She struggled to find work for several years, taking on odd jobs to make ends meet. In 1979, the actress made her Broadway debut in Night Mother. The play was a critical success, and she received her first Tony Award nomination for her performance. This marked the beginning of her successful career in theater. Throughout the 1980s, the actress continued to work on stage and in regional theater. She also appeared in several made-for-television movies and guest starred on popular television shows. In 1990, the actress landed her breakout role in the film Misery, for which she won the Academy Award for Best Actress. 
this role catapulted her to fame and established her as a talented and versatile actress. Since then, the actress has appeared in numerous films and television shows, earning critical acclaim and numerous award nominations. She has also returned to the stage, earning another Tony Award nomination for her performance in Pride's Crossing in 1996. The actress's career has been marked by her ability to take on a wide range of roles, from comedic to dramatic. She has also been an advocate for women's rights and has used her platform to raise awareness about important social issues. Despite her success, the actress remains humble and dedicated to her craft. She continues to work tirelessly, inspiring audiences with her powerful performances. From a young age, the actress was drawn to the stage. She would put on plays for her family, using puppets and toys as her cast. Her passion for storytelling only grew stronger as she got older. In high school, she took drama classes and participated in school productions. It was during this time that she realized she wanted to pursue a career in acting. However, her parents encouraged her to get a college education first. The actress attended college, but she couldn't shake her love for acting. She decided to take a leap of faith and move to New York City to study at the prestigious Lee Strasberg Theater and Film Institute. It was there that she honed her craft and learned the techniques that would become the foundation of her successful career. She spent long hours in class, rehearsing and perfecting her skills. One day, during a particularly challenging scene, something clicked for the actress. She felt a spark, a connection to the character she was playing that she had never experienced before. It was in that moment that she knew she had found her calling. From then on, the actress dedicated herself to her craft, taking on roles in films, television shows, and stage productions. She has had an incredible career, winning numerous awards, and earning the admiration of fans and peers alike. Looking back on her journey, the actress is grateful for that pivotal moment in drama school when she discovered her passion for acting. It was a spark that ignited a lifelong love affair with the art of storytelling. The roots of the actress family are steeped in history, with her grandfather, Finney's Langdon Bates, writing a non-fiction account of hearing a deathbed confession from a man claiming to be John Wilkes Booth in 1907. The book, The Escape and Suicide of John Wilkes Booth, offers a fascinating look into a possible alternate account of the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. The actress film debut came in the 1971 movie Taking Off, where she is credited as Bobo Bates. However, it was her chilling performance as Annie Wilkes in the 1990 film Misery that truly showcased her talent. The renowned author, Stephen King, was so impressed with her portrayal that he wrote two more roles specifically for her. The title role in his novel Dolores Claiborne was written with the actress in mind, and she later starred in the film adaptation of the novel in 1995. King also rewrote the character of Ray Flowers as Ray Flowers for the TV miniseries The Stand so that the actress could play the part. The actress' ability to bring characters to life on screen is truly commendable, and her contributions to the world of film and television continue to resonate with audiences to this day. Her talent and dedication to her craft have left an indelible mark on the industry, and it will be interesting to see what she has in store for us in the future. The actress, known for her powerful performances, faced significant challenges early in her career. Financial struggles were a constant obstacle, making it difficult to pursue her passion for acting. Despite these hardships, she remained determined to succeed in the industry. Skepticism from industry professionals was another hurdle the actress had to overcome. Her unique look and unconventional style were often met with resistance, as she didn't fit the mold of the typical leading lady. However, she refused to let this discourage her, and instead used it as motivation to work even harder. To make ends meet, the actress took on various jobs outside of acting, such as waiting tables and working as a cashier. These experiences, while challenging, provided her with a valuable perspective on life and an appreciation for hard work. In terms of her acting career, the actress found creative solutions to overcome industry skepticism. She took on roles in off-Broadway productions and independent films, showcasing her talent and versatility. Her breakout role in the film Misery earned her critical acclaim and solidified her place in Hollywood. 
Despite facing numerous obstacles, the actress's resilience and determination allowed her to succeed in the industry. Her story is a testament to the power of perseverance and the importance of staying true to oneself. In the film Misery, the actress gave a chilling performance as Annie Wilkes, a deranged fan who holds a successful author captive. Interestingly, Frances Sternhagen, who played the sheriff's wife in the same film, lent her voice talent to the audiobook of Dolores Claiborne, a novel that the actress later starred in as the title character. The actress's talent was recognized early in her career. In 1986, she received the Drama Log Award for outstanding performance for her work in Night, mother at the Mark Taper Forum Theater in Los Angeles, California. Moreover, two of the actress's older sisters had a brief appearance in the film Primary Colors in 1998. It seems that acting runs in the family. In summary, the actress has had an impressive career in both film and theater, with notable performances in Misery and Primary Colors. Her talent was recognized early on, earning her the Drama Log Award for Outstanding Performance in 1986. Additionally, her family has also been involved in the acting industry, with two of her sisters appearing in Primary Colors. In 1990, the actress stunned audiences with her chilling performance in Misery, based on Stephen King's novel. Her portrayal of an unhinged fan earned her a well-deserved Academy Award for Best Actress. This groundbreaking role not only showcased her talent, but also challenged the perception of her abilities. A few years later, in 1995, the actress took on a completely different role in Dolores Claiborne, another adaptation of a Stephen King story. This time, she played a tough, resilient woman accused of murder. Critics praised her for her powerful and moving performance, highlighting her versatility as an actress. In 1999, the actress delivered another standout performance in Primary Colors, a political drama. She played a tough as Nails campaign manager, earning rave reviews for her nuanced portrayal. Her co-star, John Travolta, praised her ability to disappear into her characters, making each performance truly memorable. More recently, in 2019, the actress joined the cast of the hit FX series American Horror Story for its eighth season, Apocalypse. Her portrayal of a powerful witch added a new layer to the show's already rich tapestry. The creator of the series, Ryan Murphy, has called her one of the greatest actresses of all time, citing her ability to bring depth and complexity to every role. Throughout her career, the actress has continued to push boundaries and challenge herself with diverse and dynamic roles. Her impact on the film and television industry is undeniable, and she continues to inspire and captivate audiences with her powerful performances. In the film Misery, the actress's portrayal of Annie Wilkes is widely recognized. Her performance is ranked 77th on Premiere Magazine's list of the 100 greatest movie characters of all time. As the shooting progressed, the actress became more isolated, which Rob Reiner noticed. He advised the actress to leave Annie Wilkes on set when the workday ended. The actress's heritage is diverse, with English ancestry being the most prominent. She also has some Irish, Scottish, German, Scots, Irish, Northern Irish, Cornish, and Welsh ancestry. The actress, known for her powerful and transformative performances, has a unique approach to her work. She once mentioned that she likes to find something relatable in every character she plays. This ability to empathize and connect with her characters on a deeper level sets her apart. She has often spoken about her creative process, revealing that she starts by researching the character's background and motivations. This meticulous preparation allows her to fully inhabit the character's psyche, resulting in authentic and compelling performances. Her personal experiences and worldview often seep into her work, adding depth and nuance to her characters. For instance, she has been open about her struggles with weight and self-image, which she has channeled into her performances, providing a powerful voice for body positivity. In the film about Schmidt, the actress delivered a standout performance as a brash, outspoken woman. Despite the character's stark contrast to her own personality, she managed to find common ground drawing from her own experiences to create a complex and memorable character. In the show American Horror Story, she has played a variety of roles, each time bringing something new and exciting to the table. Her ability to constantly evolve and surprise her audience is a testament to her unique approach and artistic vision. 
In conclusion, the actress's creative process is characterized by her meticulous preparation, empathetic approach, and unique worldview. These elements combine to create powerful and transformative performances that resonate with audiences. After missing out on a small role in Reds due to visa issues, the actress, Kathy Bates, finally got her breakthrough in Warren Beatty's Dick Tracy. However, it was her chilling performance as Annie Wilkes in Misery that truly catapulted her to stardom. This role earned her an Oscar and a place in the American Film Institute's Villains list of the 100 years of the greatest screen heroes and villains, ranking at number 17. In 2003, the actress was diagnosed with ovarian cancer but she kept her illness private until 29. By that time, she had been in total remission for over five and a half years. Unfortunately, in September 2012, she announced via Twitter that she had breast cancer and had undergone a double mastectomy. Despite her health struggles, Kathy Bates has remained a formidable presence in the film industry, proving her resilience and determination. Kathy Bates, an actress of great talent, and versatility has left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. With a career spanning over four decades, she has consistently delivered compelling and memorable performances. In 1990, Bates stunned audiences with her chilling portrayal of Annie Wilkes in Misery, a role that earned her Academy Award for Best Actress. This performance showcased her ability to embody complex characters and elevate the stories she's a part of. Bates has also made her mark on television earning critical acclaim for her roles in American Horror Story and Deadwood. Her work on these shows has further solidified her status as a powerhouse actress, able to seamlessly transition between genres and captivate audiences. The actress's contributions extend beyond her on-screen work. She is known for being a champion of body positivity and inclusivity in Hollywood. In an industry that often prioritizes physical appearance, Bates has used her platform to advocate for greater representation and diversity. According to industry experts, Bates' influence is palpable. As actress and producer Octavia Spencer stated, Kathy Bates has paved the way for so many of us. Her fearlessness and dedication to her craft is truly inspiring. In addition to her impact on the industry, Bates has also inspired countless aspiring actors. As actor and writer Lena Dunham noted, Seeing Kathy Bates on screen taught me that there is no one way to be a leading lady. She has always been unapologetically herself, and that has given me the confidence to do the same. In conclusion, Kathy Bates' contributions to the film and television industry are immeasurable. Her talent, versatility, and advocacy have left a lasting impact on the industry and inspired countless individuals along the way. Initially, in the film Misery, the actress portrayed the unforgettable Annie Wilkes. A small detail that adds depth to her character is the black and white photograph by the phone in Annie's living room, which is actually a childhood picture of the actress herself. At the age of 43, she bravely performed her first nude scene in the movie at play in the Fields of the Lord, a bold move that she repeated years later in About Schmidt. Her portrayal of Annie Wilkes also highlighted her dedication to her craft. Coming from a strong stage background, she valued thorough rehearsals, contrasting with her co-star James Caan's more spontaneous approach. This required a compromise, balancing the preparation to accommodate both actors' methods. The actress's commitment to her roles and willingness to embrace challenging scenes has contributed significantly to her distinguished career in film. Kathy Bates, a renowned actress, values her privacy and keeps her personal life low-key. However, she has spoken publicly about her passion for golf. In an interview, she mentioned that she finds the sport relaxing and a good way to clear her mind. Interestingly, her love for golf has even made its way into her work. She starred in the film The Great Gatsby as golf enthusiast Myrtle Wilson. Moreover, the actress is also known for her philanthropic efforts. She has been a longtime supporter of the National Breast Cancer Coalition an organization dedicated to fighting breast cancer. After being diagnosed with breast cancer herself in 2003, she became even more passionate about the cause. She has used her platform to raise awareness and funds for the organization, even serving as its spokesperson. In addition, Kathy Bates is also an advocate for disability rights. She has been open about her experiences with lymphedema, a chronic swelling condition, 
and has worked to raise awareness about the condition. She has also been involved with various organizations that support individuals with disabilities. The actress's personal values and interests have undoubtedly informed her work, both on and off the screen. Her dedication to raising awareness for important causes and her passion for her hobbies have made her not just an accomplished actress, but also a respected figure in the community. After early appearances in films like Straight Time, Kathy Bates gained more recognition for her role in Misery, a part that could have gone to Warren Beatty, who was considering directing and acting in the movie. Instead, he chose to direct Dick Tracy, which also features Bates alongside James Caan. In Dick Tracy, Bates plays Mr. Screen, while in Straight Time, she portrays Selma Darin in a cast that includes Teresa Russell. These early roles helped establish Bates' career in Hollywood. Later, in Diabolique, Bates took on the role of Death. Shirley Vogel, working alongside other accomplished actors, including Sharon Stone, Isabella Johnny, Jazz Pomontary, and Shirley Knight, all of whom had been nominated for an Oscar. Bates herself had already won an Oscar at this point, showcasing her talent and recognition in the industry. Kathy Bates has left an indelible mark on the film and television industry. With her powerful performances, she has brought to life a variety of complex characters, captivating audiences, and earning critical acclaim. Her work in Misery and American Horror Story are just a few examples of her versatility and range as an actress. When it comes to the future, Bates shows no signs of slowing down. She continues to take on new roles and challenge herself as an artist. In recent years, she has even added producing to her resume, further demonstrating her commitment to the industry. For those aspiring to follow in her footsteps, Bates offers some valuable advice. She encourages young actors to stay true to themselves and not be afraid to take risks. Don't try to be someone else, she says. Find what makes you unique and embrace it. And don't be afraid to fail. Failure is a part of the process, and it's often where we learn the most. Bates also stresses the importance of hard work and dedication. There are no shortcuts in this business, she says. You have to be willing to put in the time and effort to hone your craft. Take classes, read plays, watch movies, and learn from others in the industry. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. Finally, Bates encourages aspiring actors to stay grounded and maintain a healthy perspective. It's easy to get caught up in the glamour and excitement of the industry, she says. But at the end of the day, it's just a job. Remember to take care of yourself, both physically and mentally, and keep things in perspective. Success is great, but it's not everything. The actress served on the Board of Governors for the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences Actors Branch from 1998 to 27. This role showcased her commitment to the film industry and its community. Before achieving success, she once auditioned for the role of Janet Wood on the popular show Three's Company, which eventually went to Joyce DeWitt. Interestingly, the actress shares that she felt relieved she didn't get the part, as she realized it wasn't the right fit for her. In her personal life, the actress shared a home with her ex-husband, Tony Campesi, for 12 years before they decided to marry. This decision highlights the comfortable and enduring relationship they shared before tying the knot. Born in 1948, the actress began her journey in the world of theater before transitioning to film and television. Over the years, she has delivered captivating performances that resonate with audiences, showcasing her versatility and passion for storytelling. In 1990, she won an Oscar for her chilling performance in Misery, etching her name in the annals of cinema history. This marked a significant milestone in her career, highlighting her prowess as a thespian. Throughout her career, she has taken on diverse roles, from comedy to drama, in both film and television. Her work in shows like American Horror Story and Two and a Half Men has further solidified her status as a versatile actress who can leave an indelible mark on any project she steps in. The actress's innovative approach to her craft has allowed her to bring depth and nuance to her characters, making them relatable and memorable. She has transcended the boundaries of conventional roles, challenging herself and her audience with each new project. Her enduring impact on the entertainment industry is undeniable. The actress has inspired generations of performers and continues to captivate audiences with her captivating performances. 
In the end, the actress's journey serves as a testament to the power of creativity and perseverance. Through her work, she reminds us that with passion and dedication, we can leave a lasting impact on the world around us. In 2016, the actress received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, marking a significant milestone in her career. This honor was bestowed upon her at 6927 Hollywood Boulevard in Hollywood, California. In the film The Waterboy, the actress showcased her versatility by portraying Mama Boucher, a character vastly different from her previous roles. In one scene, she warns Bobby and Vicky, now you come on inside for that little old witch cast a spell on you. This line is particularly noteworthy as Feruza Bach, who plays Vicky, had previously starred in the craft and the worst witch as a witch casting spells. Beyond acting, the actress is also an artist and writer. She has expressed her desire to illustrate and write her own children's book one day. The actress has even spoken at award ceremonies for the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards, showcasing her support for emerging artists and writers. In conclusion, the actress's career is multifaceted, encompassing not only acting but also art and writing. Her contributions to the film industry and her passion for the arts make her a true inspiration. In The Waterboy, the actress initially had reservations about playing Helen Mama Boucher, but she later expressed gratitude for the experience, praising her co-star Adam Sandler as a good egg. The actress won the Best Actress Oscar for her chilling portrayal of Annie Wilkes in Misery, which was the film's only Oscar nomination. In one episode, the actress played a woman who takes the law into her own hands when the state fails to protect her daughter from her husband's abuse. Interestingly, this plot is reminiscent of the movie Dolores Claiborne, in which she also starred. In her long and varied career, the actress has only once portrayed giving birth on screen, and that was in the 27 film Fred Klaus, where she did so at the age of 58. This role was a departure from her debut in the film Taking Off, where she appeared as an audition singer. The actress has roots in the American South, having attended and graduated from White Station High School in Memphis, Tennessee. Her down-to-earth personality and ability to take on a wide range of roles have made her a beloved figure in the film industry. Despite facing challenges and obstacles along the way, she has continued to act in a variety of films and shows earning critical acclaim and a devoted fan base. The actress holds a unique title in the film industry as the only person to ever win an Oscar for acting in a Stephen King movie. This achievement came in 1991, when she won the Best Actress Oscar for her chilling performance in Misery at the 63rd Annual Academy Awards. Her victory made her the 102nd actress to receive an Academy Award. Born to a mother who was a homemaker and a father who was a mechanical engineer, the actress has two older sisters, Patricia and Mary. Raised in a close-knit family, she developed a love for acting at a young age. After studying at Southern Methodist University, she began her career on the stage before transitioning to film and television. Her award-winning performance in Misery was just one of many memorable roles for the actress. She has also delivered standout performances in films such as Fried Green Tomatoes, Primary Colors, and Titanic, as well as TV shows like American Horror Story and Disjointed. With her undeniable talent and versatility, the actress has established herself as a true icon in the entertainment industry. The actress has made her mark in the film industry with a series of notable roles. As of 2018, she has appeared in three Oscar-nominated films for Best Picture Titanic, The Blind Side, and Midnight in Paris. Of course, Titanic took home the award. In addition to this, the actress was the inspiration behind the role of Frankie in the play Frankie and Johnny in the Claire de Lune. The playwright, Terence McNally, had her in mind when he wrote the character. In the 1987 off-Broadway production, Kathy Bates starred alongside Kenneth Welsh, who played Johnny. Moreover, the actress delivered a chilling performance as Annie Wilkes in Misery, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Actress. Despite initial tension on set, she and James Kahn, who played Paul Sheldon, became good friends in real life. Upon hearing of Kahn's passing in 2022, the actress expressed her sadness and called working with him one of the best experiences in her career. As one of the most celebrated actresses in Hollywood, the film and television work of Kathy Bates has left a lasting impression on audiences worldwide.
with her unforgettable performance in Misery, she demonstrated her ability to bring complex characters to life, earning her an Academy Award for Best Actress in the process. Throughout her career, the actress has showcased her versatility, taking on a wide range of roles in both film and television. From her chilling portrayal of Madame Delphine LaLaurie in American Horror Story, coven to her heartwarming turn as Bobby in Titanic, Bates has consistently delivered captivating performances that have resonated with viewers. Beyond her acting prowess, the actress has also made significant contributions to the entertainment industry as a director and producer. Her work behind the camera has further solidified her status as a trailblazer in the industry. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on Kathy Bates' impressive career and legacy in Hollywood? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and share this post with your friends. And if you're not already a subscriber, be sure to hit that button to stay up to date on all the latest content celebrating the creative spirits shaping entertainment.